It's called an Anschlung puffer. <laughs> Are you an Anschlung puffer? <laughs> Welcome back to the Midday Q&A with Mail Call. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> and this is... That kid that ate too much paste in kindergarten. And now I have a little bit of drain damage. Bee McQueen. <laughs> the glue kid. <laughs> At least you're not the sniffing kid. the glue in high school. No. You I sniffed the, the glue kid. in high school, it's a different story. <laughs> I'm gonna move you over just a little bit here, but we got lots and lots of mail today. Lots and lots of mail. You wanna open some of yours up first? Cause we both have some stuff. I actually prepared and brought a knife this time. Yeah, although this should have the... Although the last time I gave you a knife, you cut yourself. I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. So it's but it was a fighting knife too, you know, in your defense. It was a double-sided knife, so... Yeah. They're meant for cutting in any direction. Yeah. Omni direction. What you got in there? Let's see what we got. Oh, what is that? Transmission mount. It sure is. And what did that happen to be for? The Gia. Your yellow Carmen Gia, which won't be yellow too much longer. Hopefully not. For those of you that keep saying, hey, you guys gotta wash it. If we do wash it, it'll turn nice and rusty color oh, because that paint is peeling. And people are still telling you to wash it even after we just talked about it in the last video. They're like, you should wash that thing. Like, didn't you watch the first 60 seconds of the video, guys? There's something in here for <laughs> those people. What you got people. in there? Oh, something in there? Really? What do you got? Yeah, something in there for the people that keep telling you to wash it. Okay, we got. Oh, 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 And you got that from Amazon? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's oh, incredible. Actually, oh, just, and you got one of them too. What's that? It is a crank pulley bolt and washer. Crank pulley bolt and washer. They want to see it, not me. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> you got a chromed one. Yeah. Why do we get a chrome one? Because everything else is chrome. And why is everything else chrome? Because it's pretty and I like it. That's exactly right. So for those of you that are saying that chrome is going to overheat an engine, and we got a lot of crap from the peanut gallery about it. People that really don't know what they're talking about. If you think of what chrome actually is, it's just a coating. Mm -hmm. It's just a coating. It's like paint is a coating. And I understand that flat black, and I know this, because that's the reason why our valve covers are still flat black and we chose not to get chrome ones. Flat black actually radiates heat better than any other color. But it's also an interesting debate that paint is technically an insulating layer. So it might be radiating more, but it's also insulating in a way. So you have to kind of think about that. Whereas chrome is metal, so it's more likely to radiate. But at the same time, it's shiny, which is more likely to reflect in. And this is where the argument comes from. It reflects the heat back on the engine. And then the tins heat up. And the tins get hot. And the tins can't cool properly. And then the, the, the air goes through the hot tins. And it's just like a hair dryer right on your engine. I never heard such silly shit in my life. Tins are always cool enough that you can put your hand on them without burning your hand, without risking that at all. And even if you took something like a torch and you heated them up red hot on a running engine, they'll immediately fade right back to cool and you can put your hand on it within seconds. And I will demonstrate that actually. Well, not on yours because it ruined your tins, but, <laughs> but it actually will cool down that quickly because there's no thermal mass. The metal is what, a millimeter thick? Maybe. How much heat could it possibly hold? Not much. <laughs> so the chrome tins are not going to cause this problem Unless, unless there's a fitment issue. This is the caveat. They are aftermarket tins, and if they don't fit like OEM tins and they leak air, then your engine will overheat. Yes. And that's probably one of the reasons why people say such things, because aftermarket stuff just isn't as good as the original. Now, I will be going through everything, and I'll be making sure that it fits properly, and that it is sealed up, because, you know, I do work on metal. <laughs> and I think I kind of know what I'm doing. So, I will make them fit appropriately, and I will make sure there's no missing pieces. You get all the little components that are necessary to make the air go to where it's supposed to, which we still need a few pieces for under the engine, by the way, but I got them floating around. That's the stuff you don't see, so it doesn't have to be chrome. Yes. It doesn't really matter. Then just stick them underneath the engine, put some screws in and be done with it. But that's the chrome pulley for it. So, what else you got? Oh, it's paper. 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 Yes. That was just for you. Yeah, you got like paper. Why do you reject my affection? Oh. All right, where'd it go? Oh, blow it away. I give you these gifts and you just throw them away. Like garbage. You look so pretty. Perfect. <laughs> What's that? A pulley. It's a pulley. I like your pulley. It's a chrome one. <laughs> That's going to hold heat. <laughs> you got a feather in it. Do I? Yeah. Oh, because it's probably in the chicken shit that was on the ground over here. Like, oh, it was. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's an it is IAP well. performance. I never heard of that brand. Wow, it's heavy. That is not like one of the MP pulleys. 
And I was really leery about getting these anyway. The MP one's usually really lightweight and kind of thin metal. This is this is tough. This is from IAP. I, I've heard of them before. I think they made yeah they made these too. They made those the same company. But this is just not at all as I I was expecting. This is solid. Fantastic. I think that'll be good. Right. That's not junk like so many of the others. In fact, I had a chrome pulley once. Yeah. And um, at the time I was broke and we had to go to our Dirty Santa party at Christmas and I was they were like just put something in the you know on a box that's a ten fifteen dollars something like that. yeah. and that's about what a pulley would run on the chrome that from Ampy at the time. I think now they're running a little over twenty. But um, I put it in a wrapper and I wrapped it and you can always tell my gifts at Dirty Santa because I wrap them with like cardboard and duct tape. Oh, I wrap everything really, really tough and make it hard to open on You're purpose. You're that so, guy. Yeah, I am that guy. But I'm also a man, so I can't gift wrap anyway, so I'm not trying to make it pretty. So anyway, I went ahead and I, and I gift wrapped it with, with duct tape, and it was Gorilla Tape, which is extremely sticky. So as he's pulling it off, it's sticking to his hand, and he's like sticking it on the table. <laughs> it was so funny. He opened it up, and he holds it up in the air, and it was the only Volkswagen part that anybody gave that night. Everybody was given like little knickknacks for your mantle and little crap like that, and I actually had a Volkswagen part. It was kind of neat. But it was just funny that I had wrapped it up in Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape. You got something else, don't you? I have one more. What's that? I don't know. Package. Any packages? Package. It's a package. It's my package. Package. Okay, we're gonna... That's it. Make it sound like you're from Brooklyn. Oh! 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 Package. <laughs> oh, this came with a recipient. Oh, you got a note? A note. No. Not a note. Recipient. A note. <laughs> Yes. Oh, look at that. You guys might remember from the last video, we had a problem with our clutch release lever because the damn hole in it was too big. This one is the right size, and I can tell right away. See, my pinky doesn't even go in there, so. Yeah, and it's yeah, an empty part. Yeah, that'll be a good one. It's an empty, okay. Cool. Empty, yeah. Oh, cool. Excellent. All right, it's stock, so. Okay. We'll, I will keep this just in case. And I will keep this just in case. Yes. What else you got? That's it. Really? I thought there was another nut in there. Nope, that's nope. it. Nope, the only nuts around here is us. Okay, I guess it'll work. It should be it. Everything okay. else is you. We're going to leave this stuff wherever it's at. Actually, this is for you. This is something that I picked up that you needed. Boop! Flippy. Yes, it what is. What is it? My distributor. Your distributor! And what color is it? Blue. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I knew right away that that was going to be for you. It's blue. And it has a clear distributor cap, and I know you guys, clear distributor caps are crap, but I always keep one in my car. And why do I always keep one in my car? Because I can install it, and I can see if there's a spark when it's running. What? And I can see which cylinders are firing and which ones aren't without having to go dick around with wires and zap the shit out of myself. Yeah, it's used. But Same. this is a 034 distributor. Okay. This is the one that has the vacuum advance. This is the good one. This, which came with it, so I managed to get a bundle because I needed some parts, the distributor, or not the distributor, the um, points in there look brand new, and it had a good uh, um, condenser on it, or at least he said it was. It looks a little ratty to me, not as shiny as this one. This one is probably still serviceable, but I'm gonna have to fix the wire on it. So we'll see on that. But anyway, that's why I grabbed that and bundled it together, so I had spare parts. Now I have a question. There should be a rotor in here too. Yep, there it is. Is it L Stormtrooper that has the monster can? As the distributor? Yes. No, as the coil. As a coil. As okay. a coil. Yeah, pr prior to that, it was a Barks root beer can. <laughs> I put it on there because it had red spark plug wires, and a Barks can is almost white. Yeah. You know, it's silvery white, and it had a part of the red logo, so I put it on there. I just wanted something because the coil was ugly. Shout out to Vocho Wagons for that. Yeah, shout out to Vocho Wagons. By the way, he doesn't have that car anymore. What? Yeah, he sold it about, oh, maybe even a year and a half, two years ago now. It's been a while. And he's moved. He went to Hawaii. That would explain a lot. And when he got to Hawaii, first thing he did, went to an auction, bought a beetle. <laughs> so I think he's got a super beetle right now. I don't know what year. But check out Vocho Wagons on YouTube. There'll be a link down below in the video description. And I'll probably put a card up here in the corner of the screen somewhere. Actually, it might be on that side. <laughs> but anyway, yes, you do have a blue distributor cap on here. It does appear that it's a new one, a little dirty, but it's a new one. It doesn't have all the cracks in it, which is usually what they develop. And yeah, I see a couple. Maybe it's not absolutely new. But that's what happens. They crack and then they start sparking out and leak. And I have a yellow one on Ruby too that I use just as a tool. Just strictly whenever I have a problem with the ignition, I put it on so I can see where the sparks are going. That's actually really smart. Yep. But people think I'm not and then I run the thing full time. People. I don't know what to tell them. What a bunch of bastards. <laughs> you were bastard. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, we got this great stuff here. I'm gonna put this right in there with that so we know where it's at. Let's take all this. I'll put it down on the floor. Our wonderful friends at CIP1 have helped me out to get some parts again. 
And safety first. Oh, yeah, let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> you open the box. This is your special box. Oh, it's my special box. Oh, I want some special box. What? I know what I like. That's fair. Just throw it up in the air, but I didn't want to bounce off the car. Because paper does scratch paint, believe it or not. Paper is very, very aggressive well, on heavy. paint. That's heavy. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what this is. What is it? A flywheel. What is it, Am? Actually, no, it's not a flywheel. It's not? That's a pressure plate. Oh. That is my stage one clutch pressure plate. I'm smart. Yeah. I thought it was a flywheel in there, too. But no, it's not. I wonder where it's at, then. I thought it would be here. <laughs> it's in the other box. Oh. I needed a stage one um, pressure plate because I wanted to put a stiffer clutch in Eleanor. Right here. Right here behind us. I put this same clutch in Ruby, and I just love it. I love it. It feels more like a sports car to me. And... It's actually a little stiffer than what's in the Z, but now it makes me want to put a stage one clutch in the Z too. Yeah. So I think if when I have to, and eventually I probably will have to replace the clutch, and it's 160,000 miles of still in the original clutch. Now in time, it'll probably eventually have a problem. People tell me, your clutch is going to burn out from pulling that trailer. Nope. <laughs> 160,000 miles and still on the same clutch. And I am not really too gentle on that thing. I mean, I will do the burnouts here and there and I, yes. drifting all over the place. And I have fun with that car, but the clutch has lasted me 160,000 miles. So many miles. All right, well, we got a little one here before we get to the big one. Okay. This one is from Earl. Yeah. Earl sent me some parts that were missing from Eleanor because when he shipped the car, some of the stuff fell down behind his toolbox and oh. they got lost. So he sent me some stuff. You know, this is actually open. I don't need, I don't need tape. I don't need any tape on this one. What was that? No, this is a seal. This should be the hood and deck lid seals. Yep, Eleanor, Eleanor seals. seats. That's a T. Oh. <laughs> See. Eleanor seats. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. It looked like it was a little, when he was using the Sharpie, it was writing over the edge and it made a T. We got, what's in there? I don't know Not a part for Eleanor. It is a part for Eleanor. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Awesome. It'll match my hat. Now I can get fully suited up. Check it out. What size is it? Extra large. It is an XL. See, for fat bastards. Big and tall. I'm gonna hold it backwards just because. That way you can see it. This is the back of a shirt, technically. But create Creative Car Classics, I almost said, which is probably another company. Let's not promote them. Let's promote Earl instead. Classic Car Creations. <laughs> the guys who put this car together that did all the final and most beautiful body work on this thing. It was far above and beyond anything that I could have done myself. There was no way I could have got this car to this point looking like this without some help. And there was nobody else better that I could have brought it to other than Classic Car Creations. Now, Earl has a YouTube channel. If you don't already know, hit up duckshit.net forward slash ccc and it will redirect you directly to his YouTube channel. I don't remember what his name uh, actually is on YouTube. It's like ES something, Earl Shiflet, and some numbers, like four digit number. But I couldn't remember that. <laughs> it was too hard. That's a lot. So, duckshit.net forward slash ccc will get you. There will also be a little card here in the corner. Or go down below for links in the video description, as always. But classic car creations. Check that out. Aww. See? And it's an XL. It's almost big enough to fit on a Volkswagen Beetle. Almost. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. Yeah, well, we'll just put it right there. <laughs> now, All right, what else we got? The big one. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like a tic tac, you just hear this one comes out. Wait a minute. Alright, we got another big box from our friends at CIP1. I don't know if it was upside down or downside up or what we got. What? This is going to be an exciting one. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah! Yeah! Merry <laughs> Christmas. What is it? What could it be? It's one of them. Ooh! Ooh, there's a whole bunch of small parts in this end. This, we open up the right end here. We got, we got a flex disc for a steering column. Why does it look so small? I believe this is a steering coupler. I've said that a couple yeah, it times. Is. It just was square instead of round. That's why it fit into that box the way it did. Huh. Yeah, so okay. Good, Jeremy made one. I needed one for Eleanor, so I grabbed one. CIP one's the place to go. This is a steering column seal. I wanted to put the steering column in, but I needed a seal for the bottom of the column. And, Ruby, yeah, 
Eleanor's front end is actually a donor. There's a lot of parts on there from a 69, so I had to use a 69 seal. The 56 seal is just different style and wasn't Perfect. gonna work for what I got, but the steering shaft from the 56 does fit into the 69, and it just needs this appropriate seal to go on the bottom. There. So, it's not very exciting, but I couldn't find it pretty much anywhere. I just was gonna order just real quick and easy, and uh, I ended up ordering a whole bunch of great stuff from CIP1. <laughs> Who, CIP1. by the way, happens to be offering free shipping on orders, I believe, over $100, and they're not telling me this. They actually do sponsor Gregory the Bus, so they've been so wonderful for me that I always try to promote them whenever I can. So, uh, I think it's free shipping over $100, and if you order over $300, you get 10% off. Wow. So, in other words, $300 free shipping minus $270 worth of paid. To, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's an unbeatable deal. As the great Owen Wilson once said, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> These are body blocks. You know what that's for? No. It's for blocking your body. That's it. Now there's no nudity. No, there's a hole in the middle. Oh, I could put it right through that. <laughs> oh no. If you throw a basket in there, right? Eh? These are um, a little thicker than stock. These are 17 millimeter. And the reason why I got thicker ones, this is in case I need to adjust the doors. And you say, well, why does a body block adjust the doors? Well, when you raise and lower the corners of the body, okay. it will tweak how the body fits around the oh. doors. So if there's a little gap I need to open up somewhere, I can put a bigger or smaller block in the corner, or even no block at all. Although well, you might have a body squeak in that location, but. Uh, Okay. Maybe just a little piece of rubber instead, like cut up a tire tube. But I needed some taller blocks just in case, so I wanted to have them before I started bolting things down. Here we got something else. What do we got? What a damn. Oh, I. I I'm. <laughs> um, I'm. 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 <laughs> I don't speak German. Obstenschuss. 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 What does that mean in Obstenschuss. English? Obstenschuss. It means um, IRS stub axle spacer. <laughs> wow. I don't remember what the hell that was. Or oh, I know what it's for. These go through the body blocks. Oh. When you bolt the body blocks down, this is this is 17 millimeter one. So in case I needed a taller block to go inside the rubber, that's what it's for. Obstenschuss. Yeah. I learned a word today. <laughs> Abstenschuss. 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 Ash. Ostraga. Ostraga? Ostraga. Abstenschuss. That sounds like a dessert. Ostraga? Sounds like something Arnold would eat. Back in my time in Austria, we would eat Ostraga for dinner. It was good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, put your Abstenschuss in here. Okay. You know what that means, actually? If it's printed in German like that, mm -hmm. it means it's made in Germany. Perfect. Which is a great way for us here, or we here in America, to start making parts and claim that they're from elsewhere, just printing in German. Say made in America or something, let's say German. So the Chinese can figure that out too if they needed to. <laughs> These are <laughs> the um, little metal bushings. Let's see what the official name is. Frame Perfect. head retainer plate. Fart frame head. Yeah, it does say fart, doesn't it? FRT. Yeah. Front frame head. These go on top of the little rubbers that go underneath the hood for the corners where those spacers go. So these are the little things where the bolts go into them. Okay. And they're kind of high, you never really were going to really see them on this Beetle. On the 56 you ordinarily would because they'd be in the trunk area, but on this 56, because they use donor parts to put it together, they're under the gas tank. So it's hidden away. Okay. But they are necessary parts. <laughs> what? This sounds dirty. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the um, glove box rubbers, and it's called an Anschlung puffer. <laughs> Are you an Anschlong puffer? No. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come here, read that. It, it actually says okay. it right there, right there in the corner. First word. Anschlong puffer. Anschlong puffer. Tank and lap. <laughs> tank. Tank and lap. Tank and lap und yeah. Actually, tank lap. Tank lap. Tank lap. We had an extra letter in here. Tank lap. Tank lap. Tank lap. Ang Angschlang puffer for <laughs> tank lap. <laughs> but these are the little glove box rubbers that I needed. It's just a little little rubber buttons. They're buried in this. I can't even get it open without shredding it again. It's about anyway. the size of a box of rubber you would need anyway. They look like them dickheads. It's the best way to describe them. Look at I little, said little what black I said. dickheads. Oh, wait, they're coming out. Here we go. It opened. Just little black penis heads. Look. See, look. Oh, no. I told you. <laughs> 
and they go in the corners of the glove box. That way when you close the glove box, they have a rubber bumper that forces the door back open when you, you hit the release button. You little black dickhead, see? I told you, you didn't believe me. No, I believed in <laughs> no, you. No, them. Oh, <laughs> I believed in you. Don't lose my dickheads. I'm gonna need them. They actually were a little spendy for what they are, but you gotta have them. And these are also German made, so I try to go with the German stuff whenever I could. Just last longer. And you will pay sometimes twice as much for it, but you just you get a better experience. Yeah. These are those spacers again. But these are the 10 millimeters, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Unterlage. Unterlage. Unterlage for, for Aufbahnstutz. Aufbahnstutz. Dicky. Dick. 10 millimeter. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. German nope. is such a wonderful language, isn't it? Yeah. It's so romantic. <laughs> Unschlangpuffer. I have a video I have to send you speaking German. Unschlangpuffer. <laughs> Unschlangpuffer. I'm still on that one. I can't believe I actually said it like that. Oh, no. Alright, what we got here? Upper engine hatch seal. This is <laughs> Eleanor's rear hatch. That part that I added right behind there in yes. the cargo area. This is actually a bus part. And because it's a bus door, this is the seal that seals that up. Oh, perfect. Which keeps all the heat and, I guess, moisture from getting up into the body. So, that's a great part to have. I was going to need it. So, I don't know what's in here. Oh, this is my clutch. My clutch. Got a clutch. This is the one that has the little chunks of metal in it. So, it's an extra grippy clutch. Okay. I want one of those ones that gives you a little bit higher performance. Again, stage one um, pressure plate. This is a grippier clutch, so I have a much better experience with launching the car. Even though I'm going with just a stock motor, when I do finally upgrade it to a, a different engine, I can use the flywheel clutch and the pressure plate, no problem. There you go. That's that. What else we got here? So Anschlung puffer. Anschlung puffer. This is some kind of gift. It is pretty. Send me a present. I have no idea what's in it. We do like presents. I don't think it's a present. Send us presents. Oh, oh, I know what that is. Paint and trim comes last, you guys, but I had to be prepared for it. And if they're offering me a discount CIP one to break 300 bucks, guess what I had to do? I had to break 300 bucks. Well, this is a chrome speaker grill for Ruby's, I said it again. This is a chrome <laughs> speaker grill for Eleanor's dashboard. And I, I thought I ordered one of these. I don't know why I can't find it. I could have sworn I ordered it about three years ago. If it turns up, hey, great. If it doesn't, well, I got another one now. Can but, I have this? Yes. The original one was all rusty and nasty, and I was gonna stick it on there just to kind of stick it to people and make them upset. Oh, yeah. you gotta put that crap on it. I still might do it anyway. Do it. But uh, we'll see what happens in time. But otherwise, that is the grill. Yes, you can have that. All right, okay, you know what? Maybe you should put that back in there. Oh, okay. Well, you can have it later. Okay. I'll give it to you later. Oh. Or maybe you have to give it to me. That way I can give you that. All right, is that how it works? I do have a strap on. Yes. Yes. Choose your own attachment. That's it. Oh, man. I choose a handful of sand. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, we'll get it up there eventually. But Handful yes. of broken glass, maybe? Oof. What? That's not a good idea? Oof. Isn't that popular nowadays? That doesn't work. Sorry, look at the redhead across the street. Strawberry blonde. I can't help myself. I'm bad with redheads. <laughs> when do I choose delivery? I want to order some. <laughs> Your Uber Eats is here. These are and gas it. tank flange. These are the little bits that hold down the gas tank. I can't find mine. I was just gonna clean them up and paint them real nice. And I thought I had a chrome set around even off of another car and I can't find them anywhere. And I was really hoping that they came looking shiny like chrome and they did. There was a possibility they could have came kind of a gold color, ah. the zinc gold color. And they didn't, I'm really happy for this. So I can put some really nice chrome bolts or stainless steel bolts into it and it'll be bright and shiny and hopefully stay that way. That especially nice. since this car probably isn't gonna see a whole lot of rain and especially not rain in the trunk area. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We yes. Don't, nobody wants rain on the trunk. Trunk rain. Hey, I think he had his Bluetooth connected to his car stereo. That's what that was. He did. <laughs> I thought you were hearing his phone. Yeah. Okay, what's this one? Oh, what we got? Oh, this is something I needed. Gosh. It's great. CIP One's web website reminded me, hey, why don't you go ahead and order yourself some spark plug wires? And I just happened to need some, so I got some brand new ones. Not a big deal. It's just one of those things you just have to have. and. Uh, Eleanor's engine was just cobbled together from junk and wires are all mismatched. <laughs> I just wasn't going to put that in there. That's not Eleanor quality. And I said that before. There's an Eleanor quality and if it does not meet or exceed my expectations, I'm not putting it on that car. One of the reasons why I'm ordering all this German stuff is, you know, cry once and 
It's installed and it'll be there hopefully for the next 50, 60 years. And next 50, 60 years, I may not even be here. Hey. I mean, I'll be 50, I'll be 94, 60, I'll be 104. Now I'll put that into perspective. While Bill and I were talking about solar eclipse coming up in uh, 20, 2040 something. And he says, I hope I'm still around there for it. He said, well, you'll be in your 90s. I said, I'll push you in your wheelchair. And I said, now I'll be your age then. I might be in a wheelchair, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> might have to have Carlos push me in a wheelchair, pushing you in a wheelchair. <laughs> for those of you that are experienced in the Volkswagen world, you might know what this is, being it's flat and about this size. It's one of those things that I needed before I could even get into putting the engine in. This is open. I don't know. I don't know where the seam is. There isn't one. Does it just slide out? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Oh. Uh, I wanted to open it like a door. Ein door. Ein scheiße. No, no. Be careful, scratch. Not scratch, but in here. There we go. Look at that. What a damn. Shiny. What a damn. Yeah, I know what it is. Do you know what it is? Oh, it's banked up to the fuckers. Oh no! Stupid DHL. <laughs> These are stainless steel trims that go in the engine compartment. So when the engine compartment goes all together, remember how pretty it looks in there with all that wonderful paintwork. The shame of it is Earl put so much time in a lot of that it's gonna get covered. But that's Earl, he did, really did tremendous work. But these are the little pieces that go on the sides in the engine compartment. I think they go in just like Watch out, these are sharp and I'm waving them around. They'll be just stabbed in like you did to me at one time. You just go in the engine compartment like this when you're looking in, you guys looking into it. For me, it's backwards. And then the other piece that's here is this one. It's upside down, and now it's right side up. This will go on the back wall, or the front wall, technically. And that's where it's borked in the corner, but that's actually going to hide up underneath some stuff, and I think it's kind of straight anyway. But they're stainless, which means they scratch real easy. So we're going to have to be very delicate with these. Like it is right there. Thanks. Actually, is it scratch? Yeah, it scratched and dinged. Well, the good news is, is the engine's here. So you won't really see <laughs> it. You probably won't see that. Make yeah, it wobble so it's again. it's not going to be too big. Make no. it wobble again. Wait for the neighbor's dogs to go nuts from that. I'm surprised they haven't. <laughs> I love that sound. So do I, actually. All right, well, as always, Thanks you guys for watching, we really appreciate it. If you'd like to send us some mail, hit up duckshit.net and find our shipping address up there. You can send stuff to me, you can send stuff to me, you can send stuff to Boomer or the Chickens if you want to, or anybody else that you see on my YouTube channel, including Wild Bill or Carlos. If you want to send something, just throw it in my mailbox. I'll make sure they get it, and I'll make them open it on video. Yeah. Send me things, <laughs> my birthday's next month. Our oh, birthday's next month. Send her some pretty stuff. Or, or weird stuff. Or weed stuff? Weird. Or weed stuff. No, don't send weed yeah, stuff in the mail. Yeah, don't, actually. That's hella illegal, don't do it. <laughs> For federal <laughs> reasons, yeah. do not be sending it. Yeah. It's gonna be crossing state borders. There's taxes involved with that and stuff for the individual states. And while it is illegal in a federal level, the individual states will be pissed off too that they're not taxing it properly. So For legal reasons, that is a joke. Don't send weed. Please don't, don't send, send alcohol. No. Alcohol is also a big no-no. Unless you live in the state of Florida, it might be the only exception because then it's not crossing the borders to get to us. But uh, you have to have a special courier send it. You can't just throw it UPS yeah. or FedEx, so you it have, doesn't work that way. Or you have to have a license. Right, or you have it to have to a distribution come license. from a uh, brewery or a distributor. The taxes must be paid in the state in which it or, you know, blah, 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 all that crap. Yeah. Anyway, we're here in Florida, for that what matters. So there's that. We got all this wonderful stuff, so that means we got stuff to work on. So we're gonna start jumping on your engine stuff today and try to get that assembled so that way we can get it in hopefully next week. Wouldn't you love to have some junk in your trunk? I got plenty. You got plenty of junk in there. I almost ripped my bridesmaid's dress a couple weeks ago because I have too much junk in the trunk. Well, Fonda ain't got a motor in the back of that, Honda. I am. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. I can't do that. <laughs> Welcome back. I already fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the midday Q&A. Oh, I'll try it one more time. Well, it's that too. Yes.